Arivar, over politics, let's get straight into the debate tonight by going across first to Poonam Mahajan. Uh, Poonam, I think for those of us who knew your father, Pramod Mahajan, uh, very well, we can understand that this is an important moment for you. You're getting ready to contest your first election. But you know what a lot of people would say. A lot of people would say you've only got this ticket because of your father and because of Gopinath Munde. What would you say to those people, Poonam? <laughs> Uh, Barkha, thank you very much. But I completely do not believe this. That I am really. Uh, first of all, I accept that people are party has accepted me as Poonam Pramod Mahajan. But public won't accept me just only as Poonam Pramod Mahajan. I know that there is certain kind of positivity and uh, maybe two steps forward I can go with the name. But the work I have done for past three years. And uh, parties also asked for my bio data and they checked my work and decided where I should be contesting from. But Poonam, uh, what made somebody like you decide to get into politics? If Pramod Mahajan was still alive today, would you have done this? Or is, is there a, a, a need in a sense to keep your father's legacy going? That time, you know, th that was not required. But as after my father, this was the pressure from the Karikartas. And they always wanted the legacy to go ahead. And I do not say that Pramod Mahajan's legacy only Poonam is taking ahead. All of us who believed in BJP, believed in Pramod Mahajan's thought, should take his legacy ahead. I'm just the part of it. Okay, let's get uh, somebody who's also had to deal uh, with these questions in her time on the other side of the political divide, Supriya Sule. Supriya, this is a question that's put to a lot of young people again and again, that, you know, why is it that the younger generation of new entrants we see are always somebody's sons or daughters? You've had to face that question as well. Now we're seeing uh, the NCP grappling with that problem in the assembly elections, Chagan Bhujbal's uh, son getting, getting a ticket, Ganesh Nayak's son getting a ticket. Why is it only about sons and daughters, Supriya? No, I don't think it's all about sons and daughters. There are equal amount of people in all parties, I think, who have come up uh, the tough way. Definitely few of us have been luckier. We've had it a lot easier. But Barka, I think on your channel, a number of my colleagues who were born in a political family have said it's always the first step that is easy. We probably get recognition quickly. We probably get our tickets uh, very quickly. But there is tremendous pressure of performance. There is constant comparison between whatever family you belong to. So trust me, yes, the beginning is definitely easy, but it's not. the road is not as uh, lovely as it, rosy as it looks. Okay, so you're saying, Supriya, that the first, it's only really the first step in, uh, you know, uh, and beyond that, you're on your own, probably under greater scrutiny. But Supriya, be Absolutely. honest, the way the, the, the tickets uh, and, and the candidates lists are shaping up, isn't there uh, just too many, too many family dynasties perpetuating themselves? Yeah, I totally agree. I don't think any of us can run away from that reality today. And uh, I think eventually all parties want candidates who are today educated or who have worked in the past as well as people want winnable candidates. So that may be one of the reasons, but I, I am totally agreeable with you that it's happening everywhere. Okay, and that's the important point. With that, let me go to Mahesh Jaitmalani. Mahesh Jaitmalani, the BJP uh, used to attack the Congress uh, on the principal issue of dynasty. Given how uh, the seats are shaping up, given how it's looking in Maharashtra today, would you say that the BJP is becoming more like the Congress or that on this one issue, there is in fact no distinction between any political party at all? Tuba.com.